Okay, let's take a look at a few questions that cover the topics that I have just summarized. Here's the first one. To demonstrate second order conditioning to a Psych 101 students, a psychology professor applies a sudden blast of air near the eye of a volunteer student, which causes the student to blink. The professor then repeatedly pairs presentation of a 600 Hertz tone with the blast of air until the student blinks in response to the 600 Hertz tone when it's presented alone. What will the professor do next? A, present tones to the student that are similar to the 600 Hertz tone. B, repeatedly present the 600 Hertz tone to the student without the blast of air. C, repeatedly present a blinking light before presenting the 600 Hertz tone to the student. Or D, repeatedly present the 600 Hertz tone to the student just before presenting another stimulus that naturally causes the student to blink. To identify the correct answer to this question, you'd have to know, notice that the professor is demonstrating second order conditioning to his students. Know that second order conditioning is another name for higher order conditioning when it involves two steps and know what occurs during the second step. The first step in higher order conditioning is classical conditioning and is described in the question. The blast of air is the unconditioned stimulus that naturally elicits an unconditioned eye blink response and the 600 hertz tone became a conditioned stimulus that elicited a conditioned eye blink response after the tone was repeatedly presented with the blast of air. The next step is to treat the conditioned stimulus like an unconditioned stimulus and pair presentation of a new neutral stimulus, for example, a blinking light, with presentation of the conditioned stimulus. As a result, the new neutral stimulus will become a conditioned stimulus and elicit the condition response when presented alone, which makes answer C the correct answer. The next slide might help clarify this procedure. When using second order conditioning, the first step is classical conditioning, which involves repeatedly pairing presentation of a neutral stimulus with an unconditioned stimulus that naturally elicits an unconditioned response. As a result, the neutral stimulus becomes a conditioned stimulus and when presented alone, elicits a conditioned response that's similar to the unconditioned response. In this example, the 600 Hertz tone becomes a conditioned stimulus and elicits a conditioned eye blink response after it's paired with the blast of air, which is the unconditioned stimulus. During the second step, the 600 Hertz tone is treated like an unconditioned stimulus and a new neutral stimulus, a blinking light, is repeatedly presented with the 600 Hertz tone. As a result, the blinking light also becomes a conditioned stimulus and when presented alone elicits salivation.